Ecclesiastes 7, 5, 7, 6. For as the crackling of thorns burning under a pot, so is the laughter of fools. This is also vanity. Fools will laugh at everything, at anything. Truly fools shouldn't be laughing because they're not wise, they're not following God. So anything they could laugh over, is just something that's going to pass away because they don't have the Lord. They ain't looking at their own state. If they were, they wouldn't be laughing. Okay. Second Corinthians 4, 7 through 10. But we have this treasure in the earthen vessel that excellency of power may be of God and not of us. For power as Christians, our power isn't in ourself. Our self oftentimes leads us to sin. Our self oftentimes leads us to falling and disappointment. But the power of the Lord can lead us to prevail. It's saying this is our treasure. Relying on His power is a gift, is a prize to us. It should be something special, something sacred. This power, something he's bestowed on us as his children in the faith. You know, scripture says that our faith can allow us to move mountains. You know, that means anything that comes in our life by his power we can get through. And that is the treasure. If we look to ourselves, we're oftentimes going to fall. We're going to not have power because we're weak. That's why we needed Him. And that's why we need to treasure Him. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Trouble comes our way. And trouble comes to both those that follow God and those that don't. Oftentimes, I believe it comes to those that don't follow, that follow God even more. And because Satan's trying to get us, Satan ain't trying to get the world. He's already got them. Now he'll prevent them, try to prevent them from coming to him. We'll deal with distress, despair in this life, but his, he can get us to trust in him to get us through. Verse 9, persecuted but not forsaken, cast down but not destroyed. You know, it's uh, way it's saying is this world persecutes us, but the Lord's there. He hasn't forsaken us. He hasn't given up on us. He's still there with us. This world has cast us down, cast us out, rejected us, but he's still there. He, he accepts us. So it's kind of the way the world views us as Christians. Oftentimes we'll be the opposite of the way he views us. The world hates us. He loves us. Verse 10. Always bearing about in body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifested in our body. It's saying he died. We should be showing through our life that he lived. We should be as he would to others. We should be the light that he was to others. We should bear his life to others. This is the idea, the point of being Christian. To witness to others. To reach others. By living as he would. Now we're not going to be perfect. We're not going to be Christ. We're fallen. And we're not going to do that. Be able to be perfect. He wouldn't have died if we could be perfect. But we're to do our best. Powered by him. To live as he would. That way others can come to him as well. By our witness. 